G'day and welcome back for more Assertive Acquisitions. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to assertively acquire today, but... A Waffle House. A Waffle what? House. Why waffles? We need a Waffle House. Uh, this, this station has a distinct lack of waffles that needs to be corrected. Hmm, well, Capac, we do you have any thoughts on how you might make a Waffle House? Um... Well, I need some really big waffles and some way to attach them together. Because if you want to make a Waffle House, we've got a whole base here that's not decorated. You can make a Waffle House for it. Uh, it could look like the... a bit of a diner sort of thing, who... I guess. Who, who was, who was responsible for this? Uh, uh I don't remember why I did that. Yeah, there's a reason at the time that I did it, but I don't remember. This seems like a safety hazard. <laughs> Maybe that's why I did it. I mean, are you meant to be staying up here to begin with? <laughs> There's not much of a path. I think, I think well, maybe I started on that bit. It's got a real, uh, uh oh. I know, I've been entombed. Yes, you have. <laughs> come on. Ooh. Come out, no, don't, just come out this way. I just opened it up for you. It's got a real, uh, ignore the man behind the curtain vibe down there. Yeah, I just kind of, I, I created a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a shell, I suppose. Uh, but Ooh, good news. Mm -hmm. The starter pad that I thought had vanished, I found it in a corner of my suit again. Wow. Oh. Uh, you put it in the wrong pocket. I do that all the time. Um, didn't we store them somewhere? When we had okay. some vague plans for a library. Uh, yeah, we put them in a locker. I think it was near my bedroom, like just outside. I think it was in one of the lockers near there, yeah. Alright, this time I have taken the assertive thrusters off the ship. Ship. The ship that I'm about to throw in the hole. Oh. Oh, the big yellow banana bender 3000. Yeah. The banana Star Wars uh, 3000. It's kind of a shame. It is a good looking ship, but it's going in the hole if it can fit. It's, yeah, it's quite big. Oh, also it's... Uh, Catwalk just fell off it. Um, I'm not sure this quite fits. It'll be okay. I mean, I mean the front of it will fit. I'm just not sure about the rest of it. Oh, hang on. Should I do this backwards? Yeah, Probably, I can use uh, pistons to make this work. Uh, yes, yeah. until you somehow flip it up and it body slams the mothership. It's alright. Uh, I showed that I, su I could suplex it with a mining ship. About there for a second. Ah, uh, that's right. I was working on the central... I was working on the lateral corridor system last time. Weren't we planning to have like little buggies to drive oh. through it in? Uh, we did discuss that as a possibility. Yes, I would like to um, have more of the ship built before we try and design any sort of buggy. Also, I would like the automatons update before we do that. Uh, well, I would suggest that we probably want to make sure we lay out the conveyor system or at least the planned conveyor system and get it hooked up uh, as early as possible so that we can start filling tanks and things like that yeah start filling tanks access cargo from it will make it much easier to build yeah that's true we could at least build a temporary system with um, cargo containers in there that'd be helpful potentially here we go I'm in oh, I'm just <laughs> It's got an interesting view from inside. The thrusters can't keep me up, so I'm slowly sinking. Well, I mean, not only that, but I feel like those thruster pods on the sides are going to be a bit of a hassle once you get that far in. Uh, yeah, but did... when I get that far in, I'll just cut them off. We did check this time they haven't got a set of thrusters on them. Yeah, yeah, I, that's what the clanging noise was before. I cut them off. Oh. Uh, Whoa, those, those grinders are really close to my cockpit. I should get out. <laughs> Uh, also, I think this gun is stopping things from progressing. Now, there's a bit of... Let me get rid of this rock outcropping here. That might help a bit. Ammo go. Oh, this. oh there she goes. Yep. Ground down one of the thrusters a little bit just to make it so that it's properly fall in. Oh, no, the grinders appear to have stopped again. Hang on. Power cycling! Uh. Okay. IT fix all. What? 
No! IT fix all didn't fix all. They look alright to me. Yeah, they look like they're working, but they're not. Oh, there we go. Can... One's working. Uh, it is tipping over a bit. Yes, it is. Is it not actually contacting them? Maybe it's not. Alright, let me see if, uh, if the cockpit's still intact. Just barely. Oh, oh boy. What the? That was the whole central engine section just coming detached. Yep, apparently the uh, cockpit was structural. What the? Did I just see a bit of flying past the window? Uh, it wouldn't surprise me at this point. Something this... looked like it flying across the base. Oh, there we go. I think an expansion might be in order if we're trying to fit ships that are this big. Yeah, yeah, I think is you're it, right. Is it possible some of the grinders have been damaged? Uh, if they still look like they're spinning, no. Uh, are those bits of ice I can see just sitting there? Possibly. Shouldn't they have been eaten? Uh, they can like fall in the gaps a little bit, little things I think. They should have been eaten if they were in inventory. But if some inventory got damaged as things were moving then it wouldn't have. The trouble is it's the um, the now that it's lighter the thrusters are actually keeping it aloft. So well, as I a mean, row gets ground down. Just uh, turn them off. Oops. Alright, let's grind that out. Inventory full. <laughs> I love the um the grinder pit as a team sport. We're trying to not die. Well, I mean. Hopefully we can do a better job than I did last time, where I crushed myself. Probably could have tried to save some of the batteries, but oh well. Uh, we got heaps of batteries. Although, uh, we could start building them on the big ship. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, when we talk about that... building some tanks on the big ship? Because they'll be able yep. to transfer energy. Uh, we just need to figure out where we want to put... Whoa! Well, I just okay. thought I just thought let's process the wrecks we've got and at least start at least start fresh when we go after the. Oh, there's two of these ones that we just put into the pit uh, out there. Whoa! Oh, the cargo transport. Oh, oh there goes some catwalks and a little bit of armor. Can I catch it? Can I catch it? Can I catch it? With my face. Don't do it. You don't end up like capping. It's fitted in a lot better than I thought it was going to. Inventory Wait. full. Ow. Sorry, I thought you were talking about, about the design of the grinder pit aesthetics, not the ship. <laughs> no, no, the ship. Uh, yeah, it probably needs to be at least a few blocks full. bigger no, to comfortably fit a ship in. It's nothing like watching the Sarlacc slowly digest its meal over a thousand years. Yeah, this time it does kind of feel like it's taken a thousand years. What can I do to chop this and make it break? Ah, here we go. Ah! There we go, that that did it. Oh yeah. Oh, there it goes. Oh! There goes some frisky armor panels. Whoa! Okay, that one was close to my face. And off it goes into lower orbit. Yeah, there are little chunks of ice down there, aren't there? Alright, let's turn this off and collect the rubbish around there. Oh, I was going to suggest that you just go down there without turning them Inventory off. Inventory full. Hey, quick, come back. Turn them back on while he's down there. That would be murder. Oh, that would be an industrial accident. I believe you mean... Industrial collision. Ah. Uh, bits of like random ammo and stuff down here too. I'm trying to think whether I should focus on the like getting as Capac wants the some of the conveyor system in, or at least a vague conveyor system in for the carrier, or if I should focus on enlarging that pit so that we can put entire ships in without having really had too much with them beforehand. I'm torn as to which to do. Come back. What I was thinking, if you wanted to do it, if you pipe through, say, where this merge block is, uh -huh. and bring a conveyor 
thing out this way and then down onto here. That could be a way to hook up to the base for the moment. Okay. Because that's that's then going into your kind of where your false ceiling is, which will give you a conveyor network that you can just put a few cargo containers along and at least have access to it more easily until I figure out where I'm going to put tanks, where I'm going to put, um, you know, the fuel systems and that sort of thing. And I can enlarge this pit and that way uh, we can go after the next cargo ships we find. Because they are all gone now. Uh, and while I'm doing that, I'm also going to put an O2H2 gen on the little miner here so that it can get some fuel. Assuming we still have some ice left, which we may not. But we should. <laughs> uh, we have none. Oh, looks like I'm going to be going off to get some ice. Are we coming along in our massive carrying ships? Um, no, I'll just do a quick trip. Once the tanks are built on the carrier, then yeah, we'll do an, probably another two big ice trips. Or we keep an eye out for another Telesto. Or maybe even see... Actually, if there are any cargo ships we don't recognize, we should go after them because they may well have a whole bunch of hydrogen on them too. It may not just be the Telesto. If we can find some other, other ones that can that are carrying a whole lot of hydrogen, that'll be really useful. Because then we know which ones to go after when we need a bit of a fuel kick. Yeah, I'm liking this. Alright, cool. Ice. Sarlacc pit gets bigger. And go after as many cargo ships as we can to try and get enough hydrogen to, just to focus on the hydrogen we're going to need for the main ship. Because I'm thinking, like, it's sort of going to be a refueling stop for both of your ships. Which means we're probably going to be looking at a bare minimum of 12 tanks, realistically. Unless you two think that's too few. No idea. Well, Gabba, your ship has one large tank, so yes. if it's if the carrier ship has to refuel your one tank and TFE's two tanks, I was thinking we probably need to be able to do that at least a few times before the carrier's like, yeah, no, you're not taking that fuel. Or before we have to go and hunt for ice. But when we leave here, like, my plan was to take the jug with us as the mining ship for the carrier. And maybe take okay. the two little miners as well. So that we can get ice quite quickly. If we go to an asteroid, we can, you know, just strip it. Because alternatively, we've got to build some, like, big mining thing. Oh, there's a Valley Crucis up there. We should go after that. That's something we haven't been to. I'll be back shortly. Are you two both uh, fighting ready? Um, that's a very good question. Uh, yeah, looks like it. Is the, um, is the Polo Conflict capture ready? Uh, should be. Yeah, looks like all the damage is patched up. I only just noticed that I'm missing the front window. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys see the Valley Crucis? Uh, yes. It's 7.4 kilometers from the base. Okay. I don't need the FTL, so I have to attach that. Ah, smart. Is that going to make landing difficult? That would be fine. As long as you don't have that control malfunction again. Guess we'll find out. At some point, if, if the tech improves, having an autopilot to return a wasabi or a paprika to base so that we can hop out, just send it back home, and then oh, give it like home fight on foot. Yeah. But I, I don't trust the current tech, so I kind of want to wait till we got a better one. You have well. like a you have like a little mini hanger that's got a sensor on it to open it when it detects the ship getting there. Well, I was just thinking, just land somewhere in the crater. Like it doesn't, oh, it doesn't even really need to land. It it'll be able to fly for long enough, but just to get it home, so it's not flying out there getting smashed by drones. Somewhere where the turrets can then protect it was what I was thinking. Oh, Kavak, good job. You built that tube quite quickly. Um, can Energy. on the inside of the ship, Kabak, use regular conveyors and conveyor junctions just so you got attachment points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And or armored conveyors so that we've got attachment points because those tube ones we can use in specific spots, but generally best avoided because they're annoying. Lack of attachments. Grab dice. I'm chucking it on board this little ship. Alrighty, that's gonna get some fuel. I am jumping in my wasabi and. Come back here and your paprika. I uh, will be in a sec. I get it. Getting the H tramp. Yep. Stop messing around with interior lighting. What's the worst that could happen? Don't ask that question. Uh, I mean, it'll probably be me smashing into my hangar as I try to take off. <laughs> uh, uh, 
as I watch you carefully extricate yourself from the hangar. Yeah. All right, Kapak, you lead the charge. Me? Yeah, because you get into range, get the drones aggroed on you, and then you find the drones. Valley Cruises. Valley Cruises. Okay. So, remember, keep out of turret range of the Valley Cruises, but just get close enough that you get the drones on you. Do we have a visual of it? Uh, not yet. I see two signals. Wait, is it two Valley Cruises or one? One says JXS. Huh. Hmm. Gotta be one ship that's pretending to look like it's two to scare us away. Okay. It's a bit odd. Oh. I have a visual. It's a single ship. We've got. I can see two turrets currently. Oh. Uh, we've got a space wasp inbound. Yeah. I'm two kilometers out from the Valley Cruces. Uh, Switching to assault next. cannons. I'm moving to pick out the drone. Come back, I presume you're also on the drone. Come back, chosen to not respond. Come back, comms are down. Oh no! Catch one. <laughs> there we go. You have a clear shot for the moment. I'm approaching. Was there only one drone? It seems like there might have been. Let's try that. Two hits. Oh, I see oh, a firefly. No. Ah, no, bad. Oh, that's a few guns. That's a, that's four turrets on you. Evasion is the best armor. <laughs> Usually. Oh, I think I got one turret. Nice. It's pulling away. TV screaming past my camera. Oh, taking out one of its main thrusters. Oh, nice. Oh, taking a heavy fire. Scratch two. Oh, but scratch a turret. Yeah. Nice. Oh, there's a lot of interior turrets when you get close as well. No, oh, boy. No, the cockpit. No. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, I should be outside turret range now. And oh. firing. Oh, I missed. That's oh, outside my range again. Attempt to make a run on it with my turrets, just set to target their turrets. You could. I mean, it'd be pretty daring, but if you want to, I'm not going to stop you. See if I can cut in front of it and see if turn it back towards you. It's turning again. Oh, it's turning around. Oh, nice. I mean, I hit it, but I missed the turret I'm shooting for. Oh, I think... Oh, no, I missed it. it. Oh, that's it. Ooh. Struggling to approach it. Oh. oh, I took some damage. I took some damage. I've seen a lot less turret fire than before. Yeah, I've taken a couple, but... Ah, no, bad roll. So much wrong! Oh, I'm taking so much heavy fire! I can't! I can't evade! I can't evade! I don't know where it is! Oh, I'm too close! I'm just gonna... Tear it down! Tear it down! Okay. Okay. I'm s somehow right on its rear thrusters, not getting shot. Oh, should we stop firing? Oh, it's still firing at us. No, you should still keep shooting. Uh, I see at least I got two another guns turret down. still up on it. Yeah. Come I think it's as confused by my current no. position as I am. Bits of a ship are flying off. Another turret's down. Oh, I'm really close to it. Ugh. I think it, I think its turrets might be down. Yeah, TFE, I think its external turrets are down. Oh, good, because right. I'm missing one of my turrets. I don't hey. think it agrees. Is there a turret at the other end? Is it safe to approach? No. Help. Oh. Help! Oh, a firefly is shooting at you, Splitsy! Drone's here. Yeah! The, the, dr the drone got me in my safe spot. At the back Stretch of the valley. Firefly. No. Oh. Oh, there's an interior turret. That's what that's what you're trying to shoot at. Yeah, there's an interior turret on the front of it. I around. can't get to it because it's it's flipping because I'm here. Um, 
Someone I'm else on has a drone. to go for it. Alright, I'll give it another crack. You can probably do it. Drone dead. <laughs> yeah, I can't get it. No, I'm out of assault can ammo. It's only a it's only an interior turret. Uh oh, that's you. There we go, got it. Oh, you got it. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna hop out of the wasabi. And I'm gonna try and get on board. I'll cover you. Uh should I head back for retrieval? Uh yes. I was gonna say, how many thrusts has this thing got? Obviously you wanna have support anyway, but Oh! Ah no it's no! No! It's flying towards me! Oh! That was close! That oh, she's spinning. Than, she is spinning. Than, oh. That was less than 10 meters away from hitting me. Oh, it was pressurized. Just deep oh, uh, Another fruit fly has just shown up. Oh, I got it. Oh, oh. no, it's got assault cannons. It's tearing up your wasabi. Alright, this thing's neutralized. Oh, why is one of my turrets shooting that? Stop shooting it. I can't because I'm also shooting the drone. I... Then get away from it, TFE. You got big thrust. Get away. Go. No, the drone's shooting at you. No, I'm trying to. I'm trying to shoot the drone without shooting the big ship. Yeah, but you were shooting the big ship. That's why I was saying, get away, get away, get away. No, not my wasabi. Come, take out the drone. Ooh. Oh. Oh, ow. No, stop shooting the big ship. So, <laughs> there we go. There you go. Yay, nice. drone down. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, Tiffy, can you come grab my uh, wasabi? Because it does not have the thrust adequate to return to base. I'm not surprised. <laughs> it's got some thrusters. It's just, um, yeah. A little bit lacking in some directions. Uh, so just take this back and drop it somewhere uh, without crashing this time. Yeah, that'd be appreciated. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna try and take control of this Valley Crucis. I, all I did was neutralize it before. I decided not to take control because I was like, well, if I take control, then it's another thing that gets shot at. I also don't get why I have um, salt can ammo. My co-contents got my ammo got damaged. Ow! What? You just die. Yeah, door killed me. Nope. Oh, hey, Kavak. Did uh, I hang around so this ship doesn't oh. sneak away? <laughs> uh, welcome aboard. <laughs> I guess I'll hang around to keep an eye on the ship until we get back. Yep. Using my slight speed advantage over Kavak. To get there as quickly as I can. It's a baldron vaguely heading this way. 4.8 kilometers from taken on a baldrin before, have we? We've, we approached Bold one. Ring. Was the baldrin the one that, one of the ones that we tried to get before we had Kavak to help us? Or one of the times when Kavak... That was a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, WHI. Oh, I see something flying. I see a split seat and then I see... <laughs> yep. Doing straight a past. Yellow machine. Full O conflict. I'm hanging You'll murder me. You opened it too quickly? No, I was grinding it what? to take control of it, and then I was just rewelding it, and it, as ah. I rewelded it, it insta closed and squished me. You said the space was pressurized. That didn't kill you, did it? No, 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 no. It was the, I, it was the door instantly closing on me, I think. Yeah. You'd think it'd have some sort of safety sensor to stop that happening. You'd think. You'd think, but it didn't. Um. So there's some beds downstairs somewhere. What? What is oh this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? An intact toilet? No. Even better. Ca camouflage. Wait. It's got a Waffle House on board. Oh, it, it, do it doesn't have a Waffle House, Capac. No. No. Oh. It has a lifetime supply. It of has 10. Chips. It has uh, 9.2 kilograms of uranium. They're rich. We can make ammunition now. It's got two reactors on board. Oh, it's got intact reactors. Yeah. 
This is a big win. Oh, I guess we've got to go after the next one we see then. Yeah. Also, um, Mermaider, 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 Mermaider. What? Uh, agreed. Those aren't words. Interlock. Uh, no, they're song lyrics. Interlock activated. Dynatherms connected. Infracells up. Mega thrusters go. Swords check. Swords check. Clubs check. Claws check. Hatred check. Anger check. <laughs> Mermaid check. Murder, murder check. Mermaida, mermaida, mermaida. In fact, what did you put in his lunch? Uh, that wasn't me. But it is a good song. Uh, systems nominal, tanks exist, weapons yes, crew no, Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> what, Ferris? Bueller, Bueller. And the wasabi has been landed. And before you ask, it was in that condition when I picked it up. Yeah, it was, it was in rough <laughs> condition. It would. It had been so badly nailed. Oh my gosh, brutal. Uh, can you relinquish control? Oh, I guess. Country road, what? take me home. All right, in the bed I go. Are we there yet? Nope. Oh. Uh, come back. Are you happy if I leave you in charge of bringing this down safely, and or do you want me to try and give you some assistance with lifting thrust? Yeah, I'm wondering about how we're going to do that. Because if you want to put it in the pit, I guess I have to go, no, uh, oh, no, I guess that should be all right. Well, I, it's, it won't fit in the pit yet. I'm going to have to upgrade the pit for it. Ah. All right, I'll just bring it down then. So I've, I've left the dampeners on, but now all but the lifting thrust in our current orientation are on. Wait, which way's up? Oh no, yeah, you're, it's where we're both the same way around. Good, 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 good. All right, I am going to fly off and start enlarging the pit. Uh, uh oh. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, what have you done? Kabak's about to run into a ship. TV, you might want to get up in your H tram. I'm currently repairing. <laughs> uh, Firefly inbound. I am aggressively deorbiting. Oh, taking what? hits. What? What? No! That's right, I'm out of range now. Wait, how close did you get? Were you, like, within gun range of that ship? Uh, briefly, yes, but I'm traveling quite fast. Have you got drones pursuing you now? I'm hoping they're pursuing uh, me. There is a firefly... Uh, it doesn't seem like it's chasing me, though. Yeah, I think it's after me. Uh, it is getting closer to me though. Oh no, I think it's on my tail. Uh, Tiffy, where did you leave the wasabi? Uh, at the front of my hangar. Okay. Uh, there is a drone. It is attacking the salvaged ship. What? You almost up, Tiffy? Uh, I believe I'm repaired. I've got 29% fuel, but that'll have to do. I am getting close to the base's weapon range. <laughs> also getting close to the ground. Oh. Please don't. It's broken I off. I see you. I think that Valley Cruises, I didn't get a chance to check it because I forgot, but I think that Valley Cruises has an intact full tank. Oh no, I'm taking hits again. Help. I gotta get repaired. Oh, get back. Do anything. Don't be over the base. The base won't shoot you. Wait, wait a second. I don't know what I'm I can do. Oh, do you? Oh. Uh, are you crashing, get back? Uh, I think I'm all right. Oh. oh man, I should have grabbed a paprika. That's what I should have done, rather than trying to repair the wasabi. I should have grabbed a papri capex paprika. Capex paprika. Trying to land in the darkness. Yeah. We might want to give Very him some close ranging. To the uh, I think I'm all right. Although I am seeing bits of rain past oh. me, which is no. always disconcerting. I, yeah. I, I definitely didn't just nearly sideswipe him. Just all my thrusters used to be more powerful. Oh, it's because the one's on one side and it's broken. Hey, it's on the ground. Yay, good job. Wait, I don't have any reverse thrust. Why has this happened? <laughs> okay, wasabi this... repaired. I mean, some of the internals are damaged. I don't want to be able to stop. Turn around. <laughs> hey. What the? I just heard a clunk. Just me landing. <laughs> 
gentle. All right. No, I'm just incredibly stupid. I'd switched off the reversing thrusters to save fuel, but I didn't think to, you know, turn them back on. <laughs> Good job. But I have landed, so there's that. <clears throat> ah! Ah! You were saying? Um. What? Did you just fly off into the darkness? Yep. Did you what? Die? No, we, I got decompressed uh, oh. and I had my helmet open and I was shot out of the airlock at about 40 <laughs> meters a second and oh, flew all the amazing. way across the crater. That's okay. amazing. Can we try out your cannon? Oh. Uh, yeah. You can attempt to do so. Hang on. You do it. We'll stand out the front. You guys watching? Yep. I'm going to um, stand at ground level. so I, I think, think I need to be standing on the inside. Oh. We need to... But well, all of the doors were closed when I did it. Yeah, you need to shove all the air into the last one and then open the end one, I think. Shove lots of air into a little space, it makes it more powerful. Alright. Oh, it didn't work. Well. Try again. Uh, I was walking, I wasn't using my jetpack. Yeah, my jetpack's off. Uh, you were flying just then. Yeah, it turns on automatically. Wow, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> well, oh, uh, it can't be replicated. It's a oh, off. There goes all my precious, precious oxygen, and you didn't even bother closing the door. You just flew off. Oh, it was supposed yeah. to fling me off, and it didn't. So it I from me. flew off myself. Hey guys, uh, it's Hello. getting away, but the Quasimodo was full of fuel. Ooh. Oh dear. It's up there. I'm going. Because we captured one of them before, didn't we? That was the big red and green one. Ooh, that was close. Don't know. Did you collide with that base? Well, I, I nearly, collided, I nearly collided with the carrier. Why well, have only got 24% fuel? Uh, maybe turn off the stockpile. Uh, something's on stockpile and taking off, and you're not able to grab new ah. fuel. Oh dear. Mm. What happened? Jack's falling off the. I know he's falling into the. Yeah, I just flipped over a bit. Oh, he fell into the um, Robin Hood welders. That's what I need to do. I need to add a landing gear to my wasabi so that I can landing gear lock to some of these ships. It's been particularly handy a few times. All right, I'm two point eight k's out. How far are you guys? Uh, I'm four k's base. behind you. Let's check to make sure this is the same ship I remember. But if we do rescue it, we're going to be landing in the dark. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, he's okay, gonna get me to do it. When... Uh, yeah, this is the tanker. Uh, I got one fruit fly coming so, in above you. TFE, this thing's got tanks everywhere, so be really careful with your gunfire. Uh, can both of you go... Uh, TFE, can you get onto the Quasimodo? Uh, potentially. That's not what I want to hear. Well, it's the truth. <laughs> How far are you from it? Five kilometers in closing. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna have to do a base and try and keep it in range until then. Then I'm attempting to board it. No, no, you are just keeping locked on it while Capac and I deal with the drones that are locked on me. Because yep. I can't, I can't do my sniping action when I'm getting shot. Understood. I'm 1.8 kilometers from the club All right, you start picking off its turrets. Ow. Yep. Hey, Cabot. Oh, ow! Oh. Too close. Okay, I'm a savage that has a lot of guns. We've got this, we've got this. Just keep it in your sights, CFA. Keep picking it off with your assault cannons. As soon as these drones are off me, I'll s we'll switch rolls. Scratch one. Nice. Good work, Cabot. Scratch two. Oh, and very nice. There we go. Scratch three. Oh no! And one space wasp oh. to go! Oh. Ah! I'm taking every fire! Oh no! Uh, it appears to stop moving. I might have sniped the remote control. That'd be good. This is our first shot. Alrighty, where is it? Alright, TFV, you're back on drone duty. Oh, it's taking my way! Oh no! Ooh! Four turrets oh. on your. I see you. guns! Gunfire! Is that on you or on Capac? It's shooting me. Oh. Shoot both of us. You want to get that distance, Capac? 
Get out of the range. Oof. I hear shredding metal. Oh. Got one turret. Monarch incoming. Cert space wasp incoming. Oh. Oh, it's uh, doing a flip. It's doing a flip. It's not. Come on, come on, come on. No, don't get in range. Don't get in range. Bad run. Stand around. Stand around. Stand around. Stand around. That's not me. Come on. Flip. We are in. And. Blam it. Oh. Is it drone after me? Yes. Taking fire. Okay. Oh boy. Why is Quasimodo's flying? It looks like it's in like big ocean waves. It's going up and down and up and down. Man, did oh, <laughs> this thing is so hard to chase. Right, uh, being disarmed. Still I'm gonna assume you guys have this under control, and I'm gonna go get the retrieval ship. Sure, yeah, let's do that. Oh I mean, we can try and uh, it down into the moon. It's pretty low. Pretty <laughs> badly need some repairs anyway. Yeah. Um, TFV, we're not actually that close to the moon. We're still in zero G. Get this turret. Come on, take out the turret. I'm so close to this turret every time. But the variance on my fire is just enough that I keep missing. Wait, Firefly Mark II, does that have a railgun? No, it's got rockets. Ugh. Ah, what the? Stupid connector magnetism. Oh no. Oh, I'm out of high heavy caliber. I'm out of large oh, caliber no. ammo. No. I think I've taken out one turret. Maybe. I don't even know anymore. This has not gone well. It really hasn't. Whoa, what was that? Jeez. Drone deep slammed into me. Oh! Alright, I'm trying to I'm gonna try and board it. Yeah. Ow! Ow! Ow, I took fire! Ow! Took fire twice! Uh my health is oh, one. Now I can see you. Your health is one? Yep. Uh, I don't know what to do. Well, do it quick, because I'm getting close. Well, I'm going to, like, I can't go in on foot. I'm just going to die. Is there yeah, a safe but... angle that I can approach it from? Not yet, no. I was trying to get on board so I could take out one of the side thr uh, turrets, and then there would be a safe approach. All right, 3.5. I, I am in visual range. You should see the massive trail of smoke from the h tram. You should see the Quasimodo still uh, trying to shoot me. <laughs> As I'm hovering at like 550 meters range. Um, you you should be able range. to see me now, so you should be able to come back and heal. Yeah, but I want to make sure someone's got a proper eyes on this Quasimodo before I break from it. I do. You're I'm watching 6, it? I'm yeah. 1.6 kilometers behind it as well. Where is Capac? I know, I've wanted to target range again. Oh, uh, Firefly and a Firefly Mark II are coming in on the tram. Yeah. I need a grav gen on this thing. The Mark II has rockets. Possibly. Uh, rockets is bad for me. Also, a locust has just spawned in. And another Firefly. Uh, should I attempt to dock? I've only got 22% fuel. Yes, you should. Where are you? Hey, if I found him, you should be able to find him. <laughs> uh, the locust is attacking the wasabi. Oh, good. The wasabi's basically dead. The fruit fly, the firefly, and the firefly mark two. No, the firefly is all. S I don't know what the firefly's doing. I think the locust just took out the wasabi. I'm looking for a giant yellow ship. You are flying sort of the right way. Uh, I don't like the idea of you bringing all these guys to me, though. Uh, it looks like it's headed quite moonwards. Yeah, I'm tempted to try and shepherd it that way, which I sh I may be able to do with my suit. Oh, huh? we're in gravity. Oh, dear. Are you maintaining a constant speed? Uh, yeah, at the moment oh, I'm no. just coasting. Oh, no! No, I was so close! No! Ah! Oh. Poop! Hey, come back. Oh. No, we're under fire! Oh, I hear no. firing! I'm fleeing! I'm fleeing! What do you mean fleeing? Oh no! The... 
Hello. Alright, Capac, just head home. Yep. Oh, it's Quasimodo's might... one. I might have to ditch my ship. How many guns has it got left on it? Uh... A Gatling gun on gun. each side that seems to have full 360 degree coverage. I can't even see it now. I know, I'm being sucked into the gravity. Like, no matter how, how, no matter how I approach it, I just can't, I can't get a line on it. It's one. Quasimodo has succeeded. I'm trying to think of any other method we've got of doing this other than us stepping up to larger grid, like large grid assault craft. We tried bribery. <laughs> Maybe like large grid with just like some interior turrets for picking off their turrets without blowing up the main grid. About like blowing up. Tanks yeah. And that. Well, the last time oh, no. I asked you to make a Crashing. large grid TFA, it went uh, from a small large grid to a quite sizable one. Yes. Um, Capac, do you reckon you would want to have a crack at a a ver a compact large grid ship that's fitted out with interior turrets and maybe so so a boarding craft with anti-turret turrets yeah, well actually could you fit your polo conflict with a bunch of interior turrets set to target uh... weapons only oh i see capac um just ignore the flaming ship at a 45 degree angle to the ground are there flat spots you could fit fit them on well, it could be worth a try mm. unless you'd rather try yeah, test it I with guess... something more disposable first no i could i could I should be able to manage something. Fuel. It could be, it, like, it'll be nice for your ship to have at least a little bit of defense for, defense for itself anyway. Um, not that the interior turrets will do much to much, but if you've got a few of them, they should be able to manage something. Oh, no. Pull up. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, that uh, doesn't look right. Please. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Well, I saw a flash. Well, I mean, eh, at least I survived. I don't think I'm going anywhere anytime soon, but I survived. <laughs> I'm guessing that that H tram is going into the grinder pit. That would be correct, considering the entire back half of it's missing. Um, Kapak, where should I park your spare paprika? Um, in the spare hangar. Spare one. Yeah, there I was mean, a there was a was spare say, one. My printed. hangar is currently empty. So. Oh. I could use the... What's the deal with the little uh, mining ship that's out the front of the base? Yeah. Is that for dumping stuff into the crater? Uh, no, that's the one that I ran out of power on. Um, no, it says you got three days of power. I mean, not power. Hydrogen. Alrighty. Um, the recommissioned grinder pit is now ready for business. Yeah. Does that a sizable expansion? I probably could have done some things to make it perform a little better like an inverted pyramid or something Ooh. but I'm happy with this so it's 13 by 13 now where's the lasers <laughs> um, shall we christen it with the wreck of uh, the Columbus actually you could uh, make the spotlight so uh, pointing out like disco or... uh, the reason I didn't do anything like that with it was because it's going to have a lot of extra light sources and things that are, I thought it would probably be more distracting than helpful. Alright, I'm putting something temporarily onto, uh, onto the jug. I'm going to see if I can pick up the Columbus with it. Jug has a lot of thrust and a lot more gyro than the, <laughs> than the little miner has. So I might have a better chance of actually maneuvering a thing. So here we go, let's give this a go. Not sure, sure what to do with the Valley Cruces, to be honest. Because of uh, the reactors on board. And I think it also didn't have any thrusters. Take the reactors off and put them with the assert thrusters for now? Well, I mean, we we can make reactors. We've always been able to make reactors. We just didn't have the uranium. They uh, big reactors or just the little ones? Just little ones. So, I mean, if we gr throw it in the grinder pit, we should get the uranium and everything from it. But there was something else on board that I was... Maybe that was the only thing. Um, so yeah, I guess we just grind it down. Unless we want some of its batteries. Okay, did that work? No. That is not even touching things I need it to touch. Actually, the pit's so wide, I could probably just drop it this like this. Yeah, there we go. 
Refinery's getting ground down. Columbus is going in. It's sinking. Oh dear. Yeah, those grinders can take an impact. How many steel plates have we gotten after all this? <laughs> I can give you a running tally. <laughs> sure. I have, we'll just do the main cargo container. Yeah. Unless, of course, it's full now, which is a real possibility. Uh, 18,000, however, there is also a bunch here. Okay. Yeah, that's, that should help. Oh, uh, 22,000 now. Cool. Uh, there's another segment I'm about to drop in. We have 66,000 litres of steel plate and 440,000 kilograms of it. This is going to add a substantial amount more. It lasts us a few days at least. Yeah. Well, once I get the main bit of armor on the carrier laid out, I guess I'll be chewing through a few thousand quite quickly. Even though I've been making the entire thing out of light armor. I figure it's much safer to start the carrier with light armor and add heavy later than start it with heavy and not yep. be able to take oh, no, off. I'm out of energy. Bad. Hey, yep. From recharging on my HM, I can observe you dropping it in. Ooh. Oh, you've put the edge there. Yep. Just throw it in. <laughs> That's what the grinder pit's for. Sweet. It's so good having upsized the pit. Can fit so much more in. Alright, TFA, show me what you've been up to. Um, trying to figure out how to earth colour this thing. Huh. Sort of going for the blue lighting interior, though I might need to turn down how powerful it is. Because um, yeah, in fact, the... you can see it outside. Yeah, the blue against the orange is an interesting, an interesting look. Uh, I think it's the cyan against the orange. If it was a different blue, it might be better. Maybe a bit of a darker blue? Maybe, I don't know. I don't think blue and orange is ever going to play well, particularly. No. Especially when it's blue light, because it makes the orange go green, and then you've got blue, orange, and green in the same view. I guess I could just go for orange lighting. Uh, you, go, you could go more red as if you, if you want to just have a slight different in tone that might work because yeah you go from looking at everything inside and it's kind of sickly green to orange on the outside so it, just, it doesn't quite <laughs> work out I don't think purple's going to work uh, interestingly enough purple works better than the blue than the cyan all right, from that to Capac, what you've managed to get this pipe built, ish. Yep. And you've been welding up the back plate for the thrusters. Yep. How are you getting in there now? Uh, I'm going around. <laughs> oh jeez. You didn't want to put a door in. Uh, I was uh, I was thinking about it, but I haven't done anything yet. Uh, and you're welding up the. You're trying to connect all of this system up as well. Uh, at the moment, I'm trying to take out some of the unnecessary blocks and just weld up like the main sort of frame. We probably think... do want some redundancy to these thrusters um, when we eventually get it done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, uh, I'm gonna at least open up this sort of back section here as like an engineering section yeah make it so it we can, can have all kinds access of pipes this area. and stuff but may it may try and make it so we can access these places so we can get yeah, to the yeah. thrusters on the inside that'd be really useful the red light makes me feel like a super villain <laughs> is that a bad thing not necessarily Ow. oh yeah the red the, yeah the red works heaps better much more complimentary well I've managed to destroy a wasabi, I've managed to get a few things in the pit, and I've managed to enlarge the pit. I'm going to figure out what I want to do with the uranium next time. I kind of want to hold on to it for fuel for the reactors if we need it, but I also want to use a bit of it for making some railgun ammunition. There's a part of me that wants to get railgun ammunition and equip it to the wasabi. But I think if I do that, I'll end up wasting a lot. But I was thinking, like, if I had a railgun and I had a perfect camera for it, I could just snipe out the targets with the railgun. But with how much we miss anyway, I don't think that's probably smart. But that is all for next time. 
I have no idea where the other two have gotten to, but there's all that and plenty more to come. And we will see you then. Catch you next time, everybody. Bye. Code content's got my ammo got damaged. <laughs> Ow! What? Did you just die? Yeah, door killed me. Oh, hey, Kappa. Uh, welcome aboard. <laughs>